everybody, it's your pal Ron Howard from Extreme Sequences, and this is Monday Minutes. From my classes, I watched this happen. I watched people work with bringing in models so many different ways, and there are so many different ways you can import these models in x -Lights. But the problem is not all of them are the best choices to make when bringing in multiples. Let's say you're going to bring in five Fusion or two Rosa Reeds or four of whatever uh, favorite coral prop you may have in x -Lights. And, and you sit there and you spin your wheels wondering, how come I'm not getting any effects on four of the five models I just put in x -Lights? Well, how did you put them there? Did you make the fatal mistake of copying and pasting? Folks, stop copying and pasting your models if they have submodels in them, period. Or I should say, let me retract that. Stop copying and pasting models that have submodel groups. You are just going to slow down the process of you getting your show going. And I see this time and time again. Um, I don't know how many times I can say this till I'm blue in the face, but stop copying and pasting models in X lights that have submodel groups and your life will improve. So let's find a workaround. Let's look at some different ways you can bring these models in. And you've seen probably before various tutorials that talk about using the import functionality of X lights. If we look here, we have the import. If we click on this button, it's going to ask us, where's the model, the X model, that you want to bring in? Or if you click on this button here, it's going to take you to the X-Lights interweb, that magical space that has billions and billions of models from various coral vendors to bring into your world of X-Lights. And that's great. But you want to bring in multiples. So let's use the Gilbert Engineering Fusion as an example, or Rosa Grande, or whatever we, we find. Um, and let's use the drop-down arrow. Let's say that you have the ability to connect to the internet and get to this magical space in x -Lights Heaven to bring down these models. So if we click on this one time, and we drag a box, and notice I'm in the 3D space. This is another funny thing to watch people who have never worked with 3D work in 3D. Uh, I could say people could be very upset working in 3D if they had no experience. But anyway, I digress. So let's go in here. Let's just look for the Rosa Grande. And if I click search, it's going to find this little haver. I'm going to click search again until we find the one we're looking for, which will be the 46-inch Rosa Grande XXL, 94 inches. I don't think so. We click search again. And here we go. There's our 47 inch Rosa Grande. So I insert the model. Fantastic, there it is. It's lovely. And if you look over to the left, you'll see that it has all the submodel groups that this just created. So if you click on one of these submodel groups over here on the left, you'll see that it highlights all of those submodels. And this is so important. All of the submodels that we need for this are here. There we go. But you're going to put four of these in your show. I feel bad for your little fingers poking that many pixels, but this is what we do in the hobby these days, and nobody cries about it. So you want four of these. Well, Let's just copy and paste this and see what happens. So I'm going to select the model first. I'm going to try to select the model. There we go. I'm going to right click, copy, or I could just click edit copy up here, or I could just hit control C as in Charlie, or command C as in Charlie. Command C if you're on the Mac, control C if you're on the Windows machine. I'm going to copy that. Then I'm going to right click, paste, edit, paste, or just simply command or control V as in Victor, which will paste it. And here's my second one. We know it's the second one because over here it says GE Rosa Grande 2. So let's go back to our groups and see if it turns on everything like intuitively it would. Well, let's see. Oh no, oh no. For heaven's sake, only one of them works. All these submodel groups, nothing. Even the Rosa Grande group, it's not in there. So how can you quickly fix this? Delete it. <laughs> 
start again. Because if you want to do this the old school way, not too many years ago, you'd simply go down here and you click on this guy, right? You would see Rosa Grande 2, all the sub models throughout this. Look at this list of spokes. Look at that. Do you really want to go one by one in all these Rosa Grande uh, submodel groups and then have to painstakingly, carefully find the Rosa Grande 2 submodels and arrow them over one at a time or a group at a time? No, that is so 2018. We're past that. So I'm asking you, stop doing that. This is not the way to do it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete the Rosa Grande 2. Yes, I'm going to delete that. What I want you to do is one of two things. If you have internet, this step will work great. If you don't, you can always export this with all the submodel groups into an X model that encapsulates all those submodel groups so that when you import it back in, you'll have everything you need. But let's let's sort of start this fresh. And I'm gonna show you something else that's pretty unique about using both of these methods. Let's go to the big old uh, interweb. And what I want you to do, this is sort of important, is I want you to click the down arrow twice. If I click it twice, see how it's grayed out here? See how that's sort of highlighted? I'll click it to deselect it. There we go, that's one, two, that's a one trip. And then another time, and it locks it in. Now I'm gonna warn you, you gotta be careful with this. Because if you leave it on, yeah, just gonna keep putting Rosa Grandes all over your show and you're gonna end up buying 30 or 40 of them, okay? And that's okay, I, I support that. All right, here we go. So by doing that, I'm gonna click one time, I'm gonna make my box. I'm gonna go look for the Rosa Grande. So we'll say Rosa Grande, click enter. I'm gonna click search again, click search again, click search again, there it is. Insert model. And it's gonna say models contain blah, blah, blah. They already exist. Do you wanna include this in all your submodel groups? You would say emphatically, yes. But we need two more. And all you have to do, because this is highlighted, is just drag a box. Doesn't really matter what size the box is because watch what happens. And again, it's gonna say, hey, I recognize all these submodels. Would you like to put them in the existing submodel groups within your x lights layout? Yes, and it does so, beautiful. And we'll click one more time. Do you like to do the same? Yes. This next step is very important. If you are finished putting on all of these models, it is time to deselect the new download arrow. Otherwise, it's gonna continue adding these. Now, if you find the one that is the correct size and you're using the measurement tool, and there's videos I've done on that, you can now click the first one that is correct, then click all of the others that are not. I'm holding down the command key because I'm on an Apple, control key if you're on a Mac. Then I can right click on all of these and tell this to resize match size. Now they're all the same size. And on top of that, if we go up to our Rosa Grande group, there's the outer balls, there's the rings, there's everything you need for all of these models, including all the submodels and the submodel groups, ready for you to rock and roll with your sequencing or your mapping, and it's done. So please stop wasting your time copying and pasting. Where is it okay to copy and paste? Well, that's a great question. If you have a single arch model and there are no submodels in it, in groups, keyword groups, then all day long, you can copy and paste this. Not a problem. And that's the quickest way. The challenge is primarily for submodel groups that are encapsulated in these high density uh, models. And high density is not going away. If anything, it continues to grow. Everybody is using high, well, I don't wanna say everybody, a lot of enthusiasts are using high density models. And this is something that uh, Gilbert Engineering and myself sort of paved the way for a while back and we're sort of blown away. It's gotten this crazy, but we're happy at the same time. But 
We don't want people wasting their time bringing these in. And it just seems to happen far too often. I hope this has been helpful. This is Ron. This is Monday Minutes. You be safe out there. Take care.